Good morning. It is 5.15 and I'm just getting ready to leave for work. Today we're going to get to pour some concrete and grandma's coming. So it should be a fun day. A couple shout outs this morning. First one to Nestor from Denver. He sent me all these little desktop name badges or name plates. I don't know what you call them. Uh, a couple big ones here for myself and grandma. This is perfect because I can hand these all out today. Uh, but there's one for everyone. CEO Daniel, Big Ray, Easy E around the corner. And then over here, Pastor Mark Growth, he's from New Mexico. He sent me a little treat from his home state. One for me and one for Annie. Annie, you want a treat? Annie, you want a treat? Oh yeah, as usual. All right, let's get one of these out for her. Here you go, Annie. All right, she likes them. All right, I'm gonna take this trash out, get this work clothes workout in, and then I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Good work. Workout was okay. I felt strong, but it was too short. I gotta get over there a little bit earlier. I'm gonna have to start waking up another like 20 minutes earlier, because that just wasn't enough. What's up? Why are you trying to be just like me, Eric? You know everybody's gonna say that now. Oh, Eric's trying to be like Ryan, drinking coffee now. Once you get addicted, it's over. I know. Now you're addicted. No way, he's here too? Hey, if you start getting eggs and olives for breakfast, I'm gonna say something, I'm gonna say something, Eric. Eggs and olives, olives and eggs. Francisco's here. Man, morning. You guys are copying me. <laughs> Big plans this weekend? No, just work. Worky, worky. You just gotta have fun working, that's the secret. Yeah. There he is. How's it going? Pretty good, yourself? Good, good to see you. You too. How's Get your spring it. going so far? Yeah, it's picking up. Is it? It's getting there, yeah. Good. Hey, how's it going? How's the electrical business? Busy. Busy? That's good. It's still pouring? Oh, of course. <laughs> Pour until you die. Yeah. Well. I mean, you didn't but I'm going to. I didn't realize that scrubbing wasn't a requirement until I went into business on my own. I was like, well, you don't have to pour more than you can handle every single time. How are you? Good, how are you? Great. I almost stole that again. Uh-oh. I gotta stop putting things in my pocket from Quick Trip. You know, a lot of people do that. Right? I'm gonna get the thing where you can just pay on your phone too, I think, the Quick Trip, yeah. whatever it's called. That way I can track my Quick Trip spending. Yeah. My <laughs> eyes will pop out by, at the end of the year. Yeah, for real. I wonder how much money I spent in Quick Trip. I really should do that. Part of the app on the phone, you can just pay with your phone. And then I'm sure it tracks every purchase. You can probably see. I should do that. I think I'm going to. At the end of the year, I'll probably be disappointed that I could have probably bought my Shelby F-150, but I spent it all at Quick Trip. 614, just pulling into the yard. I didn't mention Big Ray's not gonna be here today. He has something going on he's had it planned for a long time it's today and probably tomorrow as well he won't be around tomorrow we're not going to be doing a job it's going to be pouring rain again but i have a bunch of other stuff we have to do big ray is not here today but junior's here this is junior's day this week to come in morning, morning. you ready yes sir all right first day on the power buggy yeah. you excited yeah all right i had to do two buggies Oh yeah. <laughs> yep, Carlito's going to pick up Tino. Morning. You ready? All right. I haven't run this other buggy in quite a while. Hopefully it starts right up. I should have checked it yesterday, but these Hondas are always pretty good at starting. Thank you. I got a truck. Am I? Yeah. Yeah. Then I'm ready with you, Dad. Okay, put these ramps up. Hey, look at it. Junior's ready. He's got the blocks, right? And obviously, have it when they threw him in. He got 22. Maybe because of the broken ones, they said I want two more extra. Hello. Yeah. Where are you? I'm picking it up, Gino. 
Is he there? Are you, where are you? I'm looking for him. Just go straight to the job. We don't have time to wait for you guys. I'm just kidding. Oh. I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there in uh, two minutes. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go. All right, Ryan, I'll be over there. All right, grandma's coming today. Really? Yeah. Oh, cool. mm -hmm. <laughs> Watch out, man. You can go with those guys. Huh? Just go with those guys. Tino. Tino, you can go with uh, Francisco. I got the whole yard to park and he's gonna park where the trucks park. I know. Come on, man. I got five acres here and he's gonna park where we're supposed to park the trucks. I know. Good the program, Carlito. That's what I'm saying. You want some creatine, Junior? I'm good. Make you strong like bull. <laughs> no? Okay. That's me. <laughs> All right. Oh, I gotta order a porta potty today. Oh, hey, re fun. remind me that later at lunch. Oh, I have to pull up. I gotta call for a porta potty. Yeah, Pat was talking about that this morning. Oh, Pat needed one already? <laughs> oh. So this guy says he was going to fly to the UK to America, but he had to cancel because both of his cats got ran over and they needed an operation and he needs $200. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Come on. Hey, you know what I should do? <laughs> I should do a giveaway for the for the, uh, I don't know how to say it, but the biggest lie to try to get money from me. Oh, man. I have a contest. I got a special email. Really? Yeah, I could give the email out and say, give me your best story about why you need money. Oh, And, man. and then uh, the best story actually gets money. Oh, that would be hilarious. I should do that. That would actually be really fun. I think that's a good idea. Oh, that, was a, that was a pretty good one. Both of its cats needed an operation. <laughs> that was pretty good though. He could be in the top 10 already and I didn't even announce it yet. And then I'll, I'll, I'll read them, you know, yeah. on the video. The best ones. And then we'll pick a winner as a crew. <laughs> we'll do a top 10 and then we'll pick a winner. I'm just pulling over. I got to order concrete. All right, this is Ryan from Victory. I have a 830. I need nine and a half yards, seven bag, low shirt, air, microfiber, five inch slump one and a quarter percent just one percent nca all right buddy all right thank you i'll make it a go for 8 30. all right thank thanks you. concrete's ordered all right does this look familiar at all oh wait i remember this one. Oh yeah you fired yeah remember when i said don't back up when you dump i oh, already no. told you that <laughs> remember that yeah all right here we are we got to tape and plastic everything there's still a lot of stuff to get ready where's that felt for no felt there no nope, not there that's just driveway to driveway just against the foundation and that's it i think you did that already all right so the guy repaired the wire last night we got holes that we need to drill these rods are all in i'm gonna fire up the skid loader go get the rest of the blocks so we can finish up that wall we gotta finish that part, and then there's one more course on the back just to get it a little bit higher. We gotta snap. Actually, we don't need to snap any lines. We have to tape the wall off, too. Oh, you already got the blocks. You got the blocks already. Mark, what? You went all the way to the truck for that? What's that for? The little corner we have left. What about all that? So you went down there for no reason? This is <laughs> oh. I had to have them back for this one. Bring back old memories. All right, well, concrete's in about an hour. Whoa! <laughs> wow, Drew, you're still, you're still sliding. You better be careful. Hey, when you go up, just go on the side there. All right. Keep one wheel on the concrete. We got to tape off the wall in the back too. Yeah, I'm gonna do this with it. Yeah, but we still need to do that. Finally, you're here, Tino. Finally? Yeah, where you been? I've been moving stuff. Oh. You just got here. What have you been moving? I thought we had everything ready. The tools for the concrete. Hey, we need to put a row of tape. This gap right here, that's our concrete height all the way around. Oh, you want so we should put a piece of tape right above it all the way. So when your mag hits it, it don't leave a mark, you know? Hey, Ryan, Junior calls it to take out the full wire. I'm like, 
I was already over there. He could have. Oh, uh, walkie talkies. Yeah, that's what I said. I was already over there. He could have told me. No, we need walkie talkies. Yeah, Look at the signals. It's not too good. <laughs> Remember what you were telling us? I don't know if they're gonna like beat irritating all the wear. Nah, I don't think so. It's just just what we need to use it, you know. Just have a little fun, but that's about it. Hey, can you scrape this edge with a shovel and get it real clean? Did you ever see this stamp? We're gonna put that in. The only problem is I don't know my directions. So I'm just gonna oh the sun. It rises in the east. Is it like dead east though? Probably not. Nah, I don't think it's I mean, I think it's kind of east. I got a compass on my phone. <laughs> oh, you're training Pat? Yeah, I have to. I'm paying attention, go ahead. All right, so now when we're pouring concrete, very important to hold, hard to pull the wire. Pulling the wire, it helps to reinforce the concrete. You pull it He's right. High, and then you'll have a hard time getting it down. That's your boss. I'll be back there to kind of show you too. <clears throat> oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, one here and one over there. You got 25 to life in prison. Yeah, you go straight to prison if you don't pull the wire. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the liquid release on the stamp itself and just brush it on. Cause I've never done this. Just on re around regular broomed concrete. Normally it would be stamped all the way around. Junior talks a lot. He talks a lot. He talks more than Tino and Tino talks a lot. <laughs> We're gonna have to do something here too. <clears throat> yeah, I'll put a plastic hey. like maybe here. Yeah. I don't know unless we get a sheet of plastic and hold it when we when we dump because we can't have any go up oh, there. I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna put like a little Oh a little wall. Oh too, okay. I just wanna cover as much as I can for Yeah. This. As long as it's not completely opposite, they'll probably right. never know as long as it's kinda close. That's south, right? Close there. Yeah. No, that's north. That's north. Yep. Come on, Pat. Uh, yeah, you're right. It's never right. eat shredded right. wheat. Right. Learned that in grade school. Well, you were in grade school 73 years ago. So you're right. That was a long time to remember. I think that's right. Seems right. Seems like it's working good. One well, of the main thing is you put them both the same way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, I got to give you guys this stuff before I forget. Tino, shirt for you. Nice. Where's it come from? What is this? Tino. My guy David from the Caribbean Grill. You got your own logo now. That's for you. This is nice. Tino, right around the corner. I got another one here too for. Oh, uh, that's that's for Big Ray. I gotta wait on that. Hey, for you. Thank you, thank you. Where we made this? Yeah. yeah. Oh, around the corner. <laughs> that's for you. And look at Grandma got the big one. Oh, oh God. That's, you. That's, that's cool. No way. Yeah. Guy made that for you. I gave him a shout out this morning. Oh my god. He made one for pretty much everybody. 3D printer. Yeah, you can even just like put like the American flag here. Yeah, you can paint it a little bit yeah, if you want. Make it make it fancy. Yeah. Man, that whoever it is, thank you, man. Yeah. He put some time in because he made one for everybody. Car Chris here. Only get like one wheelbarrow at a time. Right. Or like a wheelbarrow and a half. I don't want a whole power buggy. What are we gonna do with it? Right. I only want a little in there until we fill that. Fine. Okay. Not a problem. Okay. All right, here we go. That's the first buggy. Concrete's kind of wet, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, that's wet. Look how wet it is, Eric. They brought it like that. That's juicy. Um, do we have a height on there? We just went based on the... I don't think that's right. No? No. I'll go get a tape measure and we'll figure that out. Bad time to figure it out, though. Junior's going up there? I have no idea what he's doing. Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. I was thinking it was supposed to be here. Well, we're pouring in two spots at once now. Well, hey, we got two crews going. And Carlito's over here. Who's over there? Francisco. Oh, hopefully he's pulling the wire. No, we are. We are. I did. Okay, go ahead. I did. Okay. Let's go start pouring over there. Man, I watch videos when they're pouring, like in California, and they're using that pea gravel mix. That stuff looks so much easier to work with. Yeah. Like when they're finishing, yeah. it's totally different than this. I mean, this is like finishing like half gravel and half concrete. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. stuff is like rock. Cause sometimes I'm like, why are they making that look so easy? And then I'm watching like carefully. I'm like, oh, that concrete's easy to work with, man. That's why, right? Yeah. You could probably go pull wire over there. Now we're good here. Me and you will just take care of this and yep. those guys can take care of that in the back and then we'll just wait for this to set up and then we'll edge it and stuff. Okay. 
<laughs> Why not? I mean, you are the boss, so. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we could do whatever we want. <laughs> wow! I know. All the time we had. He was out of gas for real. Yeah. I was just, I was kidding like it was a joke. And then you go around all the edges. You're using the wrong side of the polar though. Yeah, that side works way better. Right on the edges, you can take it easy on the edges. Okay. I usually don't pull the edges at all because they'll go like this and they can actually protrude from the surface. Why are you so aggressive, Pat? Man, Pat's aggressive with the wire puller. I don't know if it's my imagination, but there looks like there's a hump in there. Go over there, Eric. It looks like there's a hump like right there. I could just because my eyes are not used to concrete right now. Make sure you're all the way down. Go slow. Don't look bad. It just looked like it. Maybe it's a shadow. It's a shadow. I need an excuse, Eric. Pull the concrete truck off the driveway now. Bring it over here? Yeah, yeah. We got some of the weight off now. I didn't want the full heavy truck on the driveway. You just use one. Just you. Just your buggy use. Carlito can stop. No, you can use this. I need the best operator, right Pat? You gotta have the best operator on the equipment. He's tired, that's why he said that. He said, I think we only need one buggy now and Carlito can run it. Yeah, man, you look ripped. Look at that. Ting, ting. That bed ain't going over. No? Anybody can suck it in here. No, no, yeah. I'm not sucking it in. When you're sitting down at lunch no. with your little pot, there you go, that's better. Hey, all size 36. I think I need 38 now. Oh, man. We can share pants, Francisco. Yeah. Soon, yeah. soon, no yeah. Way. Hey, the waist would fit. But the bottom of the pants would stick, <laughs> would stick out like three more feet. Man, <laughs> he'd, have to, right. hey, he'd have to roll them up to have a big cuff like this. We got about half the concrete off the truck. Now I'm pulling the truck in. I didn't want to put the entire concrete truck on the driveway with a full load. He had nine and a half yards, which is super heavy. Now we're good. It's exactly what we did for this driveway here. We got them like half empty and then we pulled them up. wash it now so we don't have to bang it out tomorrow don't back up when you dump i already told you that <laughs> remember that eric yeah it was like it was like right there yeah. it was right there in the driveway yeah. but this is why i told them that people don't understand you back up when you dump now i gotta put all this concrete way up there and and trust me we don't pour it a 10 inch slump like some of the guys that i see on the internet this stuff's not easy to move ever again never hey the concrete's way different than the first day oh, yeah. I could tell right away it's nice it's actually got some moisture on the top that stuff Monday was dry man that stuff you can see the color is totally different too oh we would have been done this stuff's like normal concrete now thankfully Monday was rough I don't want to like complain too much about it on the camera, but now I'll say since concrete here is fine, that stuff was nasty. I think Monday because of the eclipse. I think because of the eclipse on Monday, everything was off. That's probably why. The angle of the sun and the moon was messing with the sun. The sun wasn't happy and concrete wasn't happy. Nope, not with the concrete. I'm just glad we didn't do a big pour the first day. Cause that concrete, we I don't even we would have had to sock cut joints or something. It was just so dry on the top, man. You can tell this stuff's nice.
bring out some extra cream right here where this logo is going to be, or where the compass is going to be. It's like a jitterbug. All right, we just got to finish that last little bit right there. That went really good. Easy peasy. Concrete's nice. It's not setting up at all like the first pour on Monday. Hey, just a, just a little, little. Oh, boy. Junior drove right into the mulch bed and got stuck. Junior's a little wild with that thing. He has a little more confidence than he should. Tilt it, tilt it. Fine. I'm just gonna shovel it. Fine. Thank you. He said that's fine, like he's the boss. Go tilt it a little more. We gotta put the rest in the skid loader bucket. Fine. And then into the dump truck, that's enough. Fine. And then go by the road and Make sure you scrape it good into the skid loader. Right. And then go by the road and then rinse it all down. Anything that's dirty can go in the buggy now. It's gotta go and get washed. It's just uh, those two things. The, the strike off you're gonna have to carry. Nothing really needs to be done with the concrete right now. Eric can edge that a little 20 feet. Okay. Eric's a big guy. I think he'll survive. Yeah, me too. Oh yeah, the walkie talkies. I need backup for the edge. I got a whole 20 feet to go. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. Francisco runs over right away. <laughs> it's a little wet in a little while. We're gonna have to redo this in a little while when it gets a little stiffer. Cause see this big ridge? It's sticking up. Just let it get a little stiffer and then scrape it down and make sure it's completely flush with yeah, here. Ah. We're done with this. I was going to park it over there by the uh, marker. Go put it on a trailer. Can you do it? Yeah, I can do it. You sure? Like of course. Okay. He, huh? he, do it. he said he can do it. Up. Let him do it. He's, it He's not going to mess it up. No? Okay. No, he'll do it. He can do it. No, he'll get it. He knows how to do it. He's done it a lot of times. He's done it a lot of times, yeah. yeah. Don't put cream water on the driveway. Did you dump all the cream on the driveway? All right, these joints gotta get put in now. Oh yeah, that's good. Pat, is anybody over there? Daryl! Yeah. Need somebody to hold the string for me. What do you mean, uh -huh, it didn't even go by you at all. Nice try. Try to get workman's comp. <laughs> Hold it in the middle of the joint. Oh, Eric's calling. Yeah. I got a problem here. We got a, what is it, two by eight here? No. Bring two long two by fours, stack them on top of each other. You sure it's gonna hold your weight? I'm not trying to call Oh, you. thank you, Eric. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Yeah, right in my heart. Uh, no, I'm not trying to call you fast, fast. Okay, yeah, just bring two of them, nail them together. <laughs> okay. And then okay. some blocking. All right, bye. I'm waiting for the guys to bring up a plank. The medallion is going to go right in the center there. So when I cut the joint, I'm going to have to stop right where the medallion is going to start. I think it's four feet. So I'll measure two feet, two feet, two feet, two feet. And then I'll put the joints in and then we'll stamp the medallion. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna send somebody to pressure wash all this. They can score right through. I gotta call Eric. They've been playing by the road for a long time and I need them up here. Are you guys coming? I'm on my way, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. You got a stack of high, too high. Not like that, Eric. It's probably gonna bend down and hit the concrete. We'll just stack it this way. Like a balance beam? Oh, come on. What if it cracks? No. Oh. Needs like three, two more. No way. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's going to go this way, though. What if it goes like this? It's not going to break. I'm worried about it tipping. You want another two by four? Oh, boy. No, don't even oh. I don't have no balance, you guys. I'm going to fall for real. I need one more, one more two by four and maybe nail it in, toenail it. Well, one of you guys got to finish in front because I got to stamp that quick. I just want to get this medallion like figured out how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to put it over here and then we can put a nail through that pin. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to be because it's not going to be straight through one of these unless we're extremely lucky, but we're not going to be that lucky. So the cut's going to go just randomly through the compass 
which is kind of going to break up the pattern, but I don't know. What are you going to do? I don't know. She just wanted to try it back here anyway. Obviously, this isn't going to be really viewed. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to light the compass right there. It'll look nice today, but after we saw cut through, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to like it, especially if it like ends up right next to one of the lines that's already existing. I can't control the direction of the world, man. If I could, I could make it perfect. All right, I'm going to check this front and see if I can... Put the medallion in here. Hey Ryan, you gotta try this really good. What is it? Snacks? Let's oh, see, that's the ham cream and cream cheese? And green onion. All right, thank you. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go stamp this compass in the front walk. I tried to get that in the center and I got really close, but it's not perfect. So I'm gonna go take care of this one and then come back and do this one. Is this ready? No, that's not even ready yet. It's not ready. Grab that string now and give me one end. Give me one end and then re-snap that one. All right, string. That's pretty much ready. For the compass stamp i think the walk will be ready now all right pat's washing the driveway down i'm gonna go stamp this walk mom grandma's calling yeah yeah pull all the way up the driveway we're not done yet but you can get junior's ready for you junior's done <laughs> There's our compass. There's a scratch in the concrete right there. See it? Yep. That's the center for this way. So we got to get it lined up that way, and it's about three inches on each side. Do you see your scratch? Yep. You said three inches from the, the... Yeah, three inches. Okay. Angle looks pretty good. I don't have the bumper. I'm going to see if I can broom it, and then stamp it, and then touch it up. I think this is going to be the best method. And then go around it with the hand broom, and then pull the mat off. It's like welding, you only want to do one bead and not stop. Straight up, roll it, roll it. Yep, got it. Thank you. Yeah, beautiful. Man. That looks really nice. East, west. That looks really good. What do you think of that? Oh, that looks fantastic. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. That looks good. But I don't have time to stare at it. I got another one to do in the back. All right. See the little scratch? Yeah. See the scratch? Yep. Scratch? Yep. Well, that one you can't really see. Now, that's the outside of the stamp. We got to get lined up, lined up, and lined up. You got north. I got north. I can see that. Okay. You got to go that way. More. More more go over there okay now hold the phone down and line up the north with this so it goes all the way through it should be like choom. yeah you got to go that way and and whatever north is you got to tell us which way you tell us we you sure, sure. yeah north south that's north east that's east yeah south? I, come on i know that i'm just looking north south is this line <laughs> Straight with your north-south line. That's that's what I'm trying to get you to do. Okay. Hit that line and make uh, sure I hit it, I hit it. make sure that's that one's gonna hit. Way off, bro. You gotta go a little bit more that oh. way. Get over here. Hey. I hit mine. Yep. You know where were you? Oh, right when we needed you the most. I wanted to lie, but I didn't. <laughs> Thank you. He said he wanted to lie, but he didn't. Thank I would have said, no, I would have missed. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to go on your pants when the concrete's going, man. Yeah, okay. You got to sacrifice. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll broom this square. I'll hit this one, and then I'll jump off here. I'm just going to be stuck here, though. It should be a good impression. It felt good. Now I got to get it off. <laughs> I'm gonna need a handle. Do we have a give me that bull float handle right there? 
Up you come. Wow, look at that. It's a little light over there. I should have hit it a little harder right there. So then tomorrow we're gonna score, score that right through both directions, which is gonna mess it up a little bit. But I just gotta be careful next time we're on the edges. I gotta hit it just a little harder on the edges. We hit the center perfect. Yeah. yeah. Once we saw it, it's gonna go directly through the center. I mean, it's right on. So I just snap a line, a chalk line. Mm -hmm. Here, one there. Oh, don't forget to say it, Eric. I'm, I'm oh, okay. All right, all right. Easy money. Easy dinero. Yeah. Look at that wall. Yep, that's your wall. Yeah, it turned out good. We can eat now, and then we'll clean up. Just rinse those bristles out, though. Don't leave that dirty. Enough. Time to eat, Pat. Grandma's here. Grandma. Pat, hey, Pat doesn't know anything about Grandma yet. No. I... Did she like the medallion? Good. That looks really good. Super dope in the broom, too. Yep, there it is from the top. Carnitas? Yeah. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Wow. I know Daryl's not going to eat gorditas. Mm. That pineapple really good. Right, Daryl? I've never really been a fan of those. I, I knew he was going to say <laughs> but, that. But, Mom, he only pretty much only eats ham. Thank you. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome, sweetie. Have a good day. Thank you. All right, Grandma brought us lunch, and we're done. Now we just need to clean everything up, and then we're going to get out of here. Just a bunch of stuff laying around. We're just about cleaned up. They broke a little edge over there when they were stripping the form. Francisco's fixing that. But other than that, we're done. I think everything's just about put away. All right, we're all done. Everything went good. Eric's gonna come tomorrow. He's gonna saw cut that compass, finish off the joints there, and then he's gonna pressure wash this whole entire driveway. I'm gonna run to the winter shop right now and grab the pressure washer. I was gonna get it this morning until I realized it was at the winter shop and I just didn't have time. But it's really not that bad. Once we pressure wash it, you'll barely know that we were here. Daryl's over by my truck. He's ready to go. But this job went good. Made a little bit of money finally on a job. So that's always nice. And tomorrow, looks like rain all day. So we're gonna do some punch list stuff and then Friday, which is my favorite. We're gonna do a patio. We're gonna uh, excavate it and pour it right away. All right, I will see you guys on the next one. Adios. Adios. Some fries or maybe a quarter tank of gas. You know what it will get you though? For $20 a month. Sleeping a little, huh? Okay. <laughs> uh, Daryl. You get bent. Daryl just said a little while ago he's a new man. He doesn't take any more naps. And I caught you already. Man, oh. that's okay. When we're driving, you can take a little nap, but I did get you on that one. <laughs>